I've been thinking hard about this, and I really think we should be a thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really? <laughs> Your goofy face and everything. But I can't do anything here. You know they don't want I didn't expect to find you here. I mean, Kate said you were here, but I thought... I went looking for my dad, but I couldn't find him. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. They've escalated past their same old usual argument. Never heard it this bad. That's some rough shit right there. I'm gonna try to get some shut-eye. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? You guys need some time or? No, it's cool. It's fine. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. No way. It's just too dangerous. The best thing for our family is to get out of here. Of course you'd say that. You already tried running away once. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi. Even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here... You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Can you imagine? Would have been worth risking it to get away from all this. Be able to start fresh. You and me. That's brave. Stupid. But brave. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. We'll need to make sure we can defend ourselves. No matter what we do next. Okay? Defend. That's all you're doing? I don't want to risk us losing anybody else. But you don't seem to mind that. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. You know what I mean? It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just... Shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. 
Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This will be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Javi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Javi? Not everybody in New Richmond is bad. Some of them can be trusted. Seems like it's hard to know who to trust. It's not easy. Even your father got fooled. How do we know if we can trust him? We can't. But that doesn't mean we can just kill him. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. You won't do anything to me. I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. I can do this. No, it's too dangerous. We can lure him away some other way or find another way in. I, I can do this. Gabe, wait! Hey! Oh, hey. I saw something. Show me. See? You gotta trust me more. I know what I'm talking about. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Have to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle-nephew one-two punch. 
Yeah, we do. Drop it. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? We're trapped here in town. There's a herd at the gates. No matter what's going on out there, I need to be able to protect my family. Javier, that herd is the least of your fucking problems right now. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. I was just trying to keep Kate safe. That was the only thing I was thinking about. Fair enough. I get that. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Because what Joan is doing is wrong. I guess I can't really say no to that. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. Oh, damn it, Gabe. Does it fucking look like I'm okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Thought you'd be long gone by now. So did I. But I still need to talk about AJ with Lingard. Look at him. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. 
You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Well, these could come in handy. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Here we go. Just pills. This is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be. This stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have housed ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. I don't know. It could get a bit lonely. Carver got what was coming, but just look at him. It takes a fucking monster to do that. Kenny and Carver deserved each other. Both crazy pieces of shit. No good to anyone. The world is better without them. You're right. Kenny was a monster. That's why he had to go. 
Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, take a load off. I've got the little goofball. Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? Remember what I taught you. Sweep and stand. Close. Come on, we can get out this way. You know. I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled. Like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. They just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. You're family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. <laughs>